human life such a beautiful thing? Don't you think? You guys are enjoying this content. Don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. If you guys guessed Spirit Away Feast or a No Face Feast, it's an anime, guys. It's an anime. It's probably the best. I want to say my first anime besides Dragon Ball. My first anime I ever watched, and I still remember I was still in school. But if you guys know this anime, I think this No Face Feast scene was probably the best scene on the movie, guys. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best No Face Spirit Away Feast ever. Don't blame. Here it is. I got a picture from the internet here. So this is probably where everybody was giving No Face all that feast there's this cuttle stuffed cuttlefish, there's yams, sushi, there's bows, there's a pig head or a roasted pig, fish, rice, um, bows, jello, uh, shiitake shrooms. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Looks like chicken. I don't know, guys. Apples. Let's just get into this. We'll start off like this pork bones. We're gonna make a shiitake vegetable soup. Ow! Into the pool. Oh, yeah. Wasn't even thinking. Please be careful. I don't even know what I'm doing, guys. I just feel like I'm in a rush for some reason. Okay, first things first, boil our pork bones. I got four pounds of this beautiful pork neck bone in. 10 minutes into the boil, I'm gonna dump this out. Clean all the impurities out. Okay, I'm just gonna toss it back into our pot here. Pork nice and clean onto our fire again with five quarts of water. We got a tablespoon of salt here. I got no time for that. <laughs> Some oil on these yams. So I got a tray of beautiful yams here. Not now, fam, not now. I got salt on these yams. Oven's preheated at 420. I'm gonna bake this for about an hour, guys. Back to this pot, I got five shiitake mushrooms, or six shiitake mushroom, four carrots. I got some taro here. One whole taro we're just gonna throw in. I'm just gonna boil this up for three hours. Nice, simple, and easy. You know what, I'm just gonna dump the whole thing. What am I doing? Here we go, stuffed cuttlefish. So I got two pounds of ground pork here, half a cup of chopped cabbage, got two tablespoons of chopped green onion, two tablespoons of chopped shiitake mushroom, and some ginger powder here, which I'm just gonna throw in a teaspoon of this. I got some sesame oil. One tablespoon of this. I got my good old fish sauce. One tablespoon of this. Teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of black pepper. I got a teaspoon of chopped garlic, tablespoon of chopped onions, nothing to it. Take that beautiful clean ham of yours, mix that in. Mix that in very well. We're gonna take our cuttlefish, nice and clean, guys. We're gonna take some of that mixture, some of that meat, and we're gonna stuff our cuttlefish with that beautiful meat. Stuff it very nice. Just got that nice and stuffed. Try to close it up. Do it. We're gonna steam this for an hour and a half, guys. All right, next, a very close look at this. It looks like No Face got some cornbread here, so we're gonna make some cornbread. To this cornbread, one cup of flour, three quarter cups of cornmeal, I got a third cup of sugar, one tablespoon of bacon powder, mix this in, quarter cup of oil, one cup of milk, one cracked egg, and that's it. Mix this in. Mix this in very well. Once you got that nice and mixed, all we're gonna do, scrape this into our baking sheet, our baking pan. We're gonna bake this at 375 for about 20, 35 minutes, guys. Next, char siu bao. So I got four pounds of pork back bacon here. I got a tablespoon of garlic, or onions, a tablespoon of garlic. I got two tablespoons of chopped green onion. I got half a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper. We got a tablespoon a soy sauce, two tablespoons of hoisin, half a tablespoon of Chinese five spice, white pepper, half a tablespoon of this, one tablespoon of chow string wine. Chow string wine. Take that beautiful clean hand of yours, get into it guys, get into it really well. And we're just gonna let this marinate for an hour before we start cooking this, all right? Next, as we let that marinate, let's make our bow. So I got one cup of warm water here, one tablespoon after dry yeast, Keep this beef with yeast. We got that tablespoon of good old sugar. Mix this in and let this yeast activate. See all that beautiful foam there? Yeast activated. So I got two cups of flour here, one tablespoon of bacon powder, half a tablespoon of salt. Mix this in. Nice, simple, and easy. Dump this in. To this, a tablespoon of oil. And we 
I think that beautiful clean hat of yours. Mix this in, mix this in very well. And all we're looking for, guys, we're making beautiful, nice bow dough is a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making bows. Come on. We know this. <laughs> Got this nice and form. All we're gonna do is cover this. And let this proof for 40 minutes. Next, we got this big giant red snapper. All I'm gonna do, get some garlic, stuff it in in its belly there. And I'm gonna steam it into the oven. So I got some water in the bottom here. Cover this with tin foil, and we're gonna bake steam it for about 35 to 40 minutes. As we wait, guys, let's make our sauce for our fish. So I got two tablespoons of olive oil here, two tablespoons of garlic, tablespoon of chopped onions, half a cup of soy sauce here, going with two cups of water. We got three tablespoons of sugar, and do two tablespoons of hoisin, and a tablespoon of brown sugar. Last touch, teaspoon of brown ginger, and let this simmer up. I'm gonna put the bowls together, so I got. My marinated meat for an hour here. 40 minutes in, bowels are nice and proofed. A little flour on the counter. Bust this beautiful dough out. And nothing to it, guys. Watch closely. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta roll this into a nice, beautiful snake first. And nothing to this now, guys. We're just gonna chop this down to nice, equal portions. So, one right in the middle, and down. Chop! You'd be like, wow, Quan. Unbelievable, I know, I know guys, I know, I know, I know, I know this. Thank you. <laughs> Take one of your cry chop dough out. I'm gonna flatten this, roll this out. Once it's nice and rolled out, just a bit guys, not so much. I'm gonna take some of this meat, just a bit. Like so. Then we start wrapping. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch, 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 right? Then we pinch, <laughs> then we pinch, then we pinch, then we pinch. All right, not your best looking bows, but it'll do, guys. Look at that, that's beautiful. Okay, parchment paper at the bottom, throw this to the side and let this proof for 40 minutes. Three minutes in, our bows are nice and proof. We got this beautiful steamer going. And all it is, guys, take our almost perfect bow, right? <laughs> and throw it onto our steamer. Here go, steaming time, 10 to 15 minutes. I set this up, big shout out to Tran Min again at Super Barbecue Delight for cooking me up this beautiful pork rolls here, guys. I couldn't cook this at home just because I don't have a big oven for this, all right? Okay, let's set this up. So, take this bad boy. And then slide in. Right onto our cutting board. Oh man. Pull this back. Pull this over. This side we got some stuffed calamari or stuffed cuttlefish. Just gonna place down here. Spread them out. Take our sweet soy sauce. Just drizzle it down. Add some fried garlic here. I'm just gonna toss this down like that. You know what? Should I twist this guy around? So I take a red snapper and gently, 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 gently. Come on now. Pull them off. Push them around this way. Ow, ow, ow. Like so. Push you guys a little closer. My sweet soy sauce. So maybe like, what the heck is this? <laughs> Trust me guys, it's very delicious. 
toasted garlic again. Next, push this back. We got the yams. We got the cornbread. Throw on this side. Push this back. We got some apples. Next, we got the shiitake pork stew or soup. Throw on this side. What am I missing? Big bowl of white rice. I'm trying to look at this very closely, guys. If you guys see that right here, that's octopus. We got some octopus. <laughs> Push this fish back. Drop this octopus here. And there it is, guys. Any Spirit Away fans out there, just come through. But you have to be a Spirit Away fan. Or a fan of no face. When are you guys gonna come by? And look who just waked up. Hey! Where'd you go, kitty? Huh? Come here. Look at her. My mom always put like a jacket on her just because she's cold for some reason, eh, kitty? Why are you cold for some reason? Huh? Huh? Let's do this, guys. Oh, first things first. Let's go in with the bowels. Nice, beautiful steam buns, but it doesn't look like nice, beautiful buns, but it tastes good. Yet. Buy this, quick time. That's got it, nice. Here, I should have opened it for you guys. Pump for this. Mmm, 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 mmm. This day, guys, I feel tired. I feel like very, very tired. Tired level. And eight. That's kitty. I think she's hungry. You gotta wait, kitty. First time ever trying, no, what am I saying first time ever trying? First time I ever watched Spirit Away was in my, I don't know why we watched it in my high school days. It was my language arts class, guys. Buy this quick time. Got it, nice. Super pumped for this. Even when it's cold, it's good. Mm-hmm. Look how beautiful this presentation is, huh? Mm, 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 mm. First time ever watching Spirit Away was in language art class. My teacher then, I don't know why he put it on, but he put it on. I think he just came back from Japan. And somehow it was an ed educational video about the video for some reason. <laughs> that he wanted to watch it, but he wanted to share it with us too. So that didn't really make sense. For him to make it more educational, he made questions up for us just to pay attention to it, so. <laughs> it was a little strange. But at the end of the day, guys, the movie was awesome. Guys, I buy this. Sweet, yeah! You guys got it? Nice. Pump for this. Mm -hmm. Sweet yam is amazing. But have you guys tried the purple yam? I want to say the purple yam is better than the sweet yam right here.
Mm. This is a lot of food. Don't worry guys. I'll let you guys ask what I do with the extra food every time. My family just comes by and eat it. The thing with feces though, I got invited a lot of people over. Remember the days when I just cooked the feast and just kind of just ate by myself? I didn't really eat by myself because my family came by after, but I like more of the interaction. I know some of you guys don't like the interaction, but I like cooking, sitting back, having a few drinks, and just talking with my friends, right? <laughs> and watching them eat and watch their reaction to it. Hmm. Red snapper time. Before I go into the snapper, I forgot one thing. The jello. It's right here, guys. <laughs> Goofed it so bad. Ay! That's why I hate listening to instruction, guys. I can't pay attention to it. But, let's see it. Let's see if it's still good, guys. Here. Still good jello, guys. It's not this mold anymore. I guess. I couldn't pay attention to it, I don't know why. Boofed it so bad. All right. Who wants some jello? <laughs> Please let everybody know that I did have the jello, but it didn't come out right. The instruction wasn't clear for me. <laughs> okay, a little red snapper and that soy sauce. Oh man. Some of that fried garlic on top too. Alright, let's do this. Some of that snapper, quick that. He's got it. Nice. Pop for this. Oh man. Mm hmm. Mmm. Please be careful. That's amazing. Something about me, I really enjoy steamed fish. Mm. And rice. I just grew up eating it, guys. This was my household staple. Mm. Rice and fish. <laughs> Walls for lunch? Not sandwiches, guys, in elementary. Not sandwiches. I'll tell you what was for lunch. Rice and fish. Mm. I was amazed by the size of the snapper. Mm. This childhood favorite right here. Rice and fish.
That's amazing. Steamed fish. I know it may look a little bland, but trust guys, with a little soy sauce and the fried um, garlic on top, unbelievable. You still want to taste that fish, right? Wow. Next, some of this cuttlefish here. I just want a light piece. Look at that. Okay. I just chopped it in half, guys, because I don't want that much right now, guys. Buy this quick time. Cuttlefish. Got it. Nice. Pop for this. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. Tastes like dim sum. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I kind of overcooked this just because the meat inside. Mm. It's not chewy. It just has this mm, kind of taste. I can't even think of the texture right now. Like you're biting into like a mango. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. This right here, guys, best cornbread you guys will ever bake at home, I promise you. Look at that. See that? Look at the bubbles. I'll buy this quick time. He's got it. Nice. You know what? I'm just going to go close to this. That's some good cornbread. Some of you like quiet. Did you just slurp the cornbread? I think I did, guys. <laughs> Try this cornbread recipe out. It's gonna change your life, I promise you. All right, we still got a lot of food left, guys. I didn't even dent anything, guys. I'm just a little tired right now, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one your Sure it's a food life's beautiful thing, sure. Let's share this. Peace out.